Hi guys and welcome to Hospital Appointment Booking System developed using Excel VBA. Now, as you can see, all we do is just enter data straight in here, and those are all of the information for this particular candidate or patients. However, if you guys come straight into appointment data or appointment detail right here there's nothing in there and if we come right down here as well look at the spreadsheet there's nothing right in there okay so all they need to do is let's click on add new so let's move this down so that you guys see what's gonna happen click on add new there we go look at details of Macy's Fuller Tomilola right in there okay Okay, now guys, I'm going to take you straight into Excel VBA development environment and we'll put one of these together. And let's exit out and start a new project entirely. So I'm going to just close all of these there. And let's click on the blank workbook here. Now, the very first thing you want to do is click on a developer type. If you don't have your developer type, go straight into file select options and right in there come right here where we have the ribbon select the ribbon and make sure you have your developer checked this very one day if it's not checked check it and click on ok and that's all you need to do you should then be able to see your developer tab here or you can always press alt f11 to get to visual basic right there so I'm going to now click on Visual Basic and right here I will in, uh, click on Insert and let's select User Form. Now for the height, let's come straight to the property. For the height, I'm going to make that 800. Now let's scroll down for the width and we make that about... Let's move this up so that you guys can see what I'm about to do. We'll come in here let's look for the width that is it right here you still might not be able to see it okay let's scroll right down we should be able to see it now scroll right here the width I'm gonna make that 1000 plus right here I'm gonna make that 1040 and just press enter that is it done now let's grab this width uh, the properties are just uh, reposition it where it's meant to be okay that is done so let's go straight to the tools here the toolbox click on the toolbox and what we want to do now is I'm going to add a frame so click in here just add the frame and the text content on the frame I'm going to get that deleted let's come in here where is it right there go to the caption delete that there that is the frame so I'm gonna bring it right down all right that is fine and stretch it along all the way there that's good enough for me all right the next thing I want to do now is I'm now going to add multi page and that is your multi page there yeah, click on your multi page and just drag and position that how you want it okay now that the multi page is in place let's right click on the very first page here and select rename and the name for that I'm just gonna call it patient details there just click on OK that would do for me then the next one repeat exactly the same process I'm just going to call that appointment details there we go that's taken care of now for this my frame here I'm going to come straight to the properties here let's change the back color of that to something green there we go that's fine so if I run it, this is what you guys have been saying. Okay, the grain will just to make it look a bit pronounced. Okay, that is good enough. Now let's come right here. 
inside the very first one here or since we have the second one I might as well just do that select let's come in here to tools I'm gonna come in here grab a uh, list box yeah and just drag the list box all along and this very list box I'm gonna call it LST appointment there we go that is taken care of so let's go straight to the the main page itself the patient details right here inside the patient details I'm going to now add another yeah let's go for another frame yeah, just drag that down along yeah that's fine somewhere there I want to get rid of the text content the caption there and you can always right click just click on it and as hold on to your control click and drag to copy it along there we go I think that seems to have more than one there bring the other one here and this one here all right so we're gonna have to put reposition everything Okay, looking good anyway right that is fine that's going to be for my calendar and here I'm going to add some buttons here we have one control click and drag we have two control click and drag hold on to the control click and drag there we go four in total there we go that's fine now underneath here i'm going to add another frame so let's copy this control click drag bring it right underneath here and drag this all along here okay looking good so far so i'm going to now add label here this one and I'm going to need about four of those here. First of all, let's increase the size of those label to something a little bit readable. I'm going to make it about 20 bold. There we go. So just click and drag. And we're going to need about eight of those here. Click, drag, drop it there. And here we have eight and we're going to need about 12 now 10 up here so I'm gonna just click drag this one take it up and we need another one and another one now do that again okay five here and five there and there we go in total I should have 22 yeah okay we need text box come in here now grab text box one text box here then I also need a combo box no that's not a text box text box here delete that combo box yeah one combo box right underneath here okay get rid of this for now and just grab this bring it right here select click drag right we have a combo box here and we need a text box underneath here and one more here there yeah. okay so we need three text box on the other side click drag and drop right adjust this okay looking good so far all right we need four of those underneath here bring that here we'll move this up a little bit okay and we need 
some here as well and I'll then just take care of it all right that is fine then we need three and one okay three here and one combo box here copy that and bring it here right that's good and two combo box here first of all let's drag this down a little bit we need the combo box to be out there and it's going to be a little bit smaller one and two there we go that's fine and right underneath here no right in here actually let's add some buttons and labels that's how small my button is going to be click and drag and do that hold on to the control click and drag we don't need a couple of those buttons right select it all repeat the same thing and again these very ones are going to be for my calendar and that's how I created them if you want to see a full tutorial of how I developed the cal uh, calendar anyway it's officially on YouTube you should be able to see it in. you'll be able to see it there's no problem so let's add a label here now we need a couple of those labels but first thing I'm going to reduce the size of that from 20 to about 10 yeah that's fine click drag and we are almost there now okay and we also need two more of those labels underneath here one here and one here right there okay guys this is how it's looking now not much is happening oh we need to i think i have moved something here bring it back there we go not, not much is happening but i just need to change all of these so this is going to be patient id id let's see that yeah it's coming up gradually so guys that is what i'm going to be doing just to name them and this one is going to the text box is going to be txt patients id txt patients id okay what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you guys how the whole interface look like because i'm going to have to speed this up else the design the design stage will just take up a lot of time so this is how it's looking all i just need to do now is to change the names just like i've done in here and i'm going to repeat the same thing for the others and these buttons as well okay there that's all i'm going to do and just drag this along so let's exit out and come right down here I'm going to show you guys one more for those of you who don't who are new to to using VBA so that is going to be known as Taito and this is going to be combo box CBO Taito the next one below it is going to be first name and the text box right in front of that is going to be known as txt first name and so on guys so i'm going to speed that up and i'll see you guys shortly okay guys i've finished up with the de uh, development of the interface let me run it so that you guys see how that looks like 
that is how it's looking right now but there's nothing happening as you can see nothing okay let's put some codes together and I will take it from there so I'm gonna stop that so let's first of all let's go to the you see the reset here or uh, maybe we should take care of let's take care of these three buttons here I'm gonna start with the easy one here double click on print with a print I'm just gonna go for application because I'm gonna be printing directly from the workbook application dot dialog so that would be the dialog for the printing there and then open up a bracket and um, what we want to look for now is x1 dialog print setup let's look for it is somewhere here oh, we need p okay take it down a little bit more there we go and uh, close the bracket just say dot show so what we want you to do is just to show the dialog then press enter the next thing I'm going to say this workbook say book dot sheets and I'm going to be specific this the sheet I intend to use is my sheet number one close that okay as you can see I only have just one worksheet there and that's the worksheet I intend to use so I'm going to just say dot print print out actually print out now many do I want you to print I just want you to print one so I'm going to say copies column equals one and that is my print function taken care of all right so let's oh, let's save this first okay i'm gonna go straight into file and let's just save that save the whole workbook now i'm gonna give that a name so let's drill into the location where i intend to save my work i think i have something to do with hospital here all right so first of all you see here we have save as type i'm going to change that to excel macro enable okay and because all of these other ones are macro enable as well i can see what i've saved earlier so i want to save it as excel hospital appointment booking system let's put book in there there and just click on save but make sure your save type is excel macro enable workbook click on save and there now let's go back to our programming area double click on reset in the case of resets as you guys know that would take me forever having to write something like um, text box dots just something like this the text equals clear I agree that's a very easy way to get it done but it's gonna take forever there's another shorter way we just need to use a loop, a for loop. So I'm going to say dim txt. Okay, that is the prefix for every single text box and I, that I have on my system. And I also have another prefix which is, which is a CBO for the combo box. So I have declared those two as more or less a variant. So I'm now going to use a for loop for each txt inside frame number one okay because every single component there are all resided inside frame number one so that will make life easy for me because i'm just dealing with frame number one now so if you guys have frame one on your system here let me show it to you right here the one i changed the color to green that is frame one if it's two then you change it to two if you don't have frame in there that means you just address user form but i do have a frame so frame one dot control now use an if statement or using an if statement let's get that in dent i'm going to say if 
the type of there should be a space in there if type of txt txt is ms forms dot text box then all I just want the system to do is txt dot text that will be equals play that's all okay and come right down here and just say end if end your if statement And guess what? You see this for loop, we have to get it nested as well. So just say next txt. Okay, just close that. And that is it done for every single component. Whatever I have inside my text box here now, if we try that out. So you can see all the text box click on that okay I think I have made a, an error here because if I click on this that clears it and this is not doing anything okay now let's go in here. I think I mistakenly entered the codes in the wrong place that was very very unexpected of me okay grab all of this it's meant to be right in here just drag it along yeah that is it Okay, be careful that guys so that you don't enter the codes in the wrong procedural area. I might as well delete all of this. Yes, you can do that in a VBA. So save that. Now come back in here. Run the whole pro system again. Run. Now I should be able to enter something in here. This nothing will happen here. Okay. Alright, click on reset. If I click on reset, all the text box will be cleared. There we go. Why the combo box are still there? Nothing is happening to this combo box, and I have five of those. So I might as well just copy that. Let's go back in here. Double click on that. I want to copy all of these and just change it for my combo box. Paste it right underneath here. And here, my object then is going to be dot combo box. And remember the prefix for the combo box is C B O and change this to C B O as well and get it ended there C B O all of them are ended and that is it so if I run that now whatever I enter in there I should be able to get rid of that okay so we can take care of that and this Resets. Okay, let's see why is that not ending. Let's go back in the code and see. Okay, oh yeah, look at that. CBO, come on. Okay, so run it again. Enter whatever in there. Okay then. I'm going to now, yeah, that is fine. So let's take care of exit now. Now, for the exit, I'm going to double click on the exit. I want, I'm not, I'm not just going to enter on load me straight into exit. I'm going to make it more, a bit more professional so that it will prompt the user to confirm if they actually want to exit. So I'll start by entering dim, which means declare as so this is the name of my variable I exit. Declare that as VBA message box button. Message. Okay, message box results, not button. It's not a visual basic. Okay now. So in here I'm gonna say I exit equals message. No, equals MSG box. 
and the msg box has as follows that is one of my argument confirm so confirm if you want to exit now the next argument is going to be vb question okay then uh, let's add another argument and this other argument is going to be vb yes or no vb yes or no and finally the other argument is going to be for my title so let's just call that hospital appointment booking system there we go and close that and now let's use an if statement to validate the selection made if I exit equals VB yes then we want the system to exit so we just say unload me and we also have to end if okay that is it just a simple line so that should take care of the exit and so on so let's run it run exit confirm if you want to exit no and confirm if you want to exit yes i do want to exit and there uh, that is that taken care of so now that those three are taken care of we then need to take care of all of these Okay, like I said, you will see the lines of code for these on, on YouTube already. So I'm going to exit out now. And let's start work with the odd. Double click on the odd new. With the odd new, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to come down here. And I will declare what is known as... Uh, an option explicit so that every single component will have access to the variable so I'm going to say option explicit there so the component should be able to gain access to that and the very first one is let's say dim let's say d date as date And I'm also going to enter as follows. Let's say dim the year and I'm going to say this month as date as well. And then let's say dim another one. I'll call that create create call that's that will be for the calendar itself as pulling there now I am gonna be I as integer now that is fine so let's do what two others let's say dim I'm gonna call that worksheet WKS as worksheet there and let's say dim add add new as range there we go that is fine so those are all my variables I intend to use I will now come here you see these four that would be for my calendar these two will be for my odd so you see the add new so make sure you double click on the button add new and right here inside the add new first of all I'm going to set WKS WKS is my worksheet equals that would be the very first sheet that I have there I only have one anyway for now you can always add another one that's my sheet one 
worksheet one close that now that worksheet one is assigned something so we're gonna say set add new equals worksheet dot range and the range I'm just going to make that up that's going to be about from a cell A to 65,356 dots up to the end open a bracket x1 up let's increment it up dot offset and increment by one there we go that is fine now what we want to do is since we've taken care we've set add new this own value so what we then want add new to do is every single component here I'm going to say add new dot offset The very first one is going to be on zero comma zero close that dot value that should be value and the value in this case is going to be txt patients id dot text so that's my very first one I have about 22 in total okay, and I'm also going to create a worksheet for them as well so the next one is going to be for my combo box so I can copy all of these and just change things around I have 22 I'll do the last one paste that's 4 now Twenty now twenty two. Copy that, bring it down, paste. Now the next one here is going to be zero one and zero two and so on. Speed that up. There we go. I have 22 that's 0 up to 21 so that makes 22 so the next one here is going to be CBO title and all of this object that I'm calling let me show it to you guys is right here remember when I was naming them there they are okay the next one that I'm going to call in now is going to be first name followed by surname address and so on so let's grab first name there back into our codes so this one is going to be first name this is surname let's type surname in there we have address and after address we do have telephone and let's see what else do we have after the telephone we have gender, age, county, and postcode. So back in here. So let's go back in here. Where is it? That will be gender. That's CBO. Gender. Because it's a combo box. Then after the gender, I then have what? Age County, the next one then we have postcode and let's look at the other ones now we have appointment CBO appointment grab that I'm back in here right underneath here that will be CBO appointment 
and so on so I'm going to speed that up okay that's it all taken care of for the to add the data straight onto the worksheet so one other thing I want I would like to achieve is to be able to add the, the data straight onto the my list box so that is known as LXT appoint appointment I'll call it LSE appointment dot I should use counts column count in total I have 22 so I'm going to say yeah 22 so let's go for LSE again appointment dot rule source that is going to be from the worksheet so I can even grab that here okay let's just enter it here sheet one that would be dollar sign a dollar sign I want it to start from two column dollar sign a dollar sign and that will be no I think that would be about V I think not not AS let's see I'm gonna change that to V when I enter my data I should be able to tell so let's go for all the way to 65,356 there that is that taken care of so from A2 up to roll V and all the way up to 50, uh, 65,000 plus all right okay let's go to my worksheet now so on my worksheet I like to enter all of these data straight onto the worksheet itself so let's grab that okay there we go so the very first data in there I'm going to call that patient ID there we go then I will go for title now. Then I'm going to go for the first name. So name, address, and I'm just going to speed that up. The next one should be telephone. Let's speed that up and there we go guys okay so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to increase the size of the font see I have it up to V so that is correct so let's select it all come right here and just increase it to about 14 and also just make it bold there so save that so let's go back into our VBA development environment here all right so V that is correct bring that here so that you guys can see it and that is it okay I'm going to now try it out but before I do that let me add another let me add the, the heading for the combo no for the list box actually list box that's column headings I'm going to say that is equals true there so I should be able to see the headings there so I'm going to try it out now to make sure these odd to make sure that works the odd name and what will happen is I should see my data on this workbook and on the list box all right as you can see there's nothing on the list box so let's enter some data in here there's nothing here yet so i'm just going to make that let's enter mr there and the name we call that 
Let's say in toner. Okay, number three. Wallet square. There. There's nothing in here as well. I'm just gonna enter booked. And dates. We're gonna make that up. Call it today's dates and time. So let's speed that up. All right, guys. So that is it. So let's see. In here, there's nothing there. And the worksheet as well. Let me show you guys the worksheet. So just move this down. That's the worksheet. There's nothing there. So let's click on this now. And click on add. There we go. Right there. Look at that. Okay, and if we come in here, we should be able to see the the details in there. Look at that, and you can see the headings as well, right there. Okay, then one good thing is we sh this thing should just say data or day something like that. All right, so let's just end that and take care of this. Okay, I'm going to make my way to the form load here now double click on that oh before that let's do one more thing go back in in here okay here let's just add a message that will say yeah you've entered data in there uh, msg box i'm just gonna say data entered so that's fine entered okay that's fine just to let us know that we've actually entered some data in there so let's come into double click on the form so now inside the form load itself i'm going to use form initialize so click in there and come right here change the event to form initialize and let's move that up a little bit Alright, now right inside the form initialize, what I want to do is I'm going to enter the following. Let's say the other thing is I can just grab, let's say, CBO Doctor Title. dot add item and that is going to be let's start with misses okay that's one taken care of copy that and these are for the combo box that's going to be for my combo box okay so we change this one to miss and we have uh, mr then here we can get that to be doctor then maybe professor professor of medicine and what about captain and in here uh, let's go for reverend now rev okay that can be any of the title. The other one I'm going to take care of is going. I might as well copy this. It's going to be for the next combo box. That would be for just the title for the cost uh, for the patients. Get rid of the the uh, oh that that is fine. There. Now and what about the gender we have gender so i'm going to take let's come right down here cbo dot gender no it's not a dot gender dot add and that's going to be female Or male. 
Let's grab that anyway. There we go. So that's going to be for mail. Now the next one is going to be for my CBO appointment. So CBO appointment. The appointment is just going to be booked or not. It's all missing there. Right there. So that's going to be dots appointment and for that I'm going to enter booked appointment booked and the other one is going to be not booked now the next one CBO let's call that confirm CBO confirm that's CBO confirm the dots add so it's either going to be yes or no right the next one is going to be no all right so what I'm going to now do now is for the timer let's say txt I want you to load the time immediately dot value that will be equals let's get the timer it's a formatted and that's going to be time comma and this is the format of the time and I also want it in minutes you can also go all the way to seconds though okay you can go all the way to seconds if I run it this is what you see run there okay do you really need the seconds I don't okay this is what I've just done now so that is it all fine all taken care of now exit out. let's see the clear that works good so let's get rid of the seconds on it I don't need that there we go so all we then need to do now is to take care of my calendar this very one let's take care of this like I said I have the whole tutorial for this on YouTube so I'm just going to grab component from there and dump it in here and that and right here guys this is the function I intend to use for the for the calendar okay just take it from here and all the way down here that is the function okay so if you guys want the full tutorial like I said it's on YouTube already so take it from the top here so that you guys can see it take it from here and just down here up to the end here now I need to be able to call this function my form load so let's come right here double click on the form itself and there yeah, I want it to get it initialized so let's let's add that right underneath here enter broken lines and paste there we go so this should initialize the this very function right there so take a good look at it I'm now going to run it there so if I click on the date now I should be able to get a date in here that's what I want to achieve next but for now that is not happening okay and for us to get that to happen now to do that so I'm going to exit out and double click on each individual button I'm going to start with the D1 first I call that D1 this one is D2 that is D3 and so on so I'm going to double click on that okay now I'm going to say txt date dot text equals D 
one dot whatever value we have in there that is control t text okay that's all there is to it so if i run it now and i click on d1 there we go you get the date in there so i'm just going to copy that and use that for d2 so let's double click on d1 here and grab that so i'm going to change that around for d2 come right down here double click on d2 paste and just change, change that to two repeat the same thing for three paste we have d3 I will do the same thing for D4. Paste. That's four. And so on, guys. So let's speed that up. And that is all there is to it, guys. Every single button there is taken care of. I have 42 in total. There we go. Okay. So that is it, guys. So I'm now going to run it. And let's see how it looks like to so run. Okay, today's date is 31st. There we go. And the time right now is 8.40. So let's say the next appointment is for that guy, whoever that is. Let's say Miss or Mrs. Let's say. This is Thelma Tommy. Okay, that's fine. Double T. An address of Thelma. Let's see. Milky Way. There. Yeah, telephone number. Gender female. Age. County. Let's say Kilburn. Appointment, yes, booked. So let's say yes in there. And the surgery number, the other number, mobile number, doctor's number, let's say is called Goodman at Hotmail. ID he is a doctor and his name is Goodman Goodman Morehouse there we go now the session time all we need to do is just to click here and add these details so let's click on add there confirm so all of those informations are here now you see that but there's one thing if you guys notice before I click on our details because it was not initialized we didn't see any of his details in here okay so to get that sorted all we just need to do is let's exit out first yes and we can just double click on let's double click here and grab the following this okay that is all of the information on the or off the list box I'm now going to paste that on form initialize here double click on that and maybe right up here okay that's fine paste it right up there form initialize that's it okay run and if I click in here now, I should be able to see all of the data that we have on the system. And that is how you guys create your own patient's appointment booking system. So with that, guys, I'm going to call it the end of this beautiful tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed. And please do subscribe to my channel. And you can also join to become a member of the channel. There are a lot of benefit for the members. You all have a nice day now and bye for now.